Hi, this is Mike from DraftBuddy.com and FFToday.com, and I'm here to talk about the Cheat Sheet Compiler and DraftBuddy, the football version. Now, today is only April 2nd. I haven't updated the Cheat Sheet Compiler and DraftBuddy uh, football version for 2012 yet. I'm still, you know, still got the 2011 version from last year, but very soon we'll be updating for 2012 and get that rolling. However, I am already in a mock draft. Uh, yes, I did say early April. Uh, but with one of my Twitter accounts, some guys were starting up mock drafts, and, and, and a lot of mock drafts, really. Uh, I'm actually in two at the moment. You know, if you are a football nut, you definitely want to get on Twitter, follow some of these guys, and get and do some early mock drafting, because, you know, really football season does not end, especially fantasy football season. But anyways, my point here is, uh, you know, this mock draft I'm in, I, I started it, we're in round seven, it's an IDP league. I haven't been tracking it in uh, the compiler and draft buddy. I did the uh, the other mock draft, but this one I hadn't. And now I'm getting to the point where, you know, I really would like to see what what how the other rosters are made up uh, before I make my next pick. So I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's do a demonstration. Let's see how fast I can get the football compiler set up for this mock draft, even though it is already. We're through quite a few rounds here. We're into round uh, eight, and you can see I have the uh, fifth pick in the eighth round. Uh, yeah, I've got the uh, eighth pick overall. Um, I'm using a different Twitter account than the Draft Buddy one, uh, just because that's where I connected with these guys. This is my Fantasy Throwdown uh, Twitter account uh, right here. It's at Fantasy Throwdown, except drop the uh, the last O in Throwdown because it didn't fit on Twitter. And uh, here's my roster so far through seven rounds. Uh, I started with Larry Fitzgerald in the first round, and then since then uh, added uh, Tom Brady, Jonathan Stewart, Fitzgerald, Jennings, Jason Pierre-Paul, Terrell Suggs, and Dequell Jackson. Let's get to the point of the uh, screencast, though. Let's talk about the compiler and draft buddy. And I don't even have Excel open right now, so let's get this thing set up so I can start tracking this thing. And you're going to wonder, how am I going to get this set up so quickly? Uh, and put in eight rounds of, of picks, or eight and a half rounds of picks. Well, let's see what I can do. Uh, first, I need to open the file. And it's on my uh, CCDB folder here. Uh, 2.2 was the last version we had in 2011, like I said. So the projections are going to be a bit off here, but that's okay. I can still track the draft for the most part based on players from last year. Okay, I've opened it up in Excel 2007. I've got to hit Options here to enable macros. Enable data connections and everything's fine there. Okay, now we're set up. Let me see if I can do this quickly here. So we got mocking one out number six. Yes, I said there were a lot of mock drafts going on. This is number six in a series. I think they've already started seven. It is 12 teams. It is 24 rounds. Roster 24. It is a little bigger because it's IDP. No keeper league, no auction draft. We've got one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers. A tight end, a kicker, one flex position, no team defense. We have, uh, I believe we have three, three and three, and a deflex. Let me just check that. Flip over here, back to the website. Let's go to the rules, reports, rules, league bylaws. Uh, yeah, I was right on the 24 roster spots right there. Scroll down a little bit. Starters are, excuse me, okay, two defensive linemen, three linebackers, two defensive backs, and one flex across those four positions. So let's change this to two, 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 and one flex. Got to check that these are included in the flex. Okay, and then also for my flex O, that can be a running back, wide receiver, or tight end. Okay, uh, actually, and that is 24 roster spots right there. Okay, those are the rules uh, set up. Let's go to the scoring, and this is a PPR league. I'm going to grab the FF Today PPR, hit Get Scoring. It's going to fill that in for me automatically, and it's done. Okay, I can see the receptions there is now one. It was zero prior. They are minus two for interceptions thrown, so let's just adjust for that. Minus two for fumbles. Minus two for fumbles for the running backs and the wide receivers. The defensive scoring is pretty high. It's a one and a half for a tackle, 0.75 for an assist, six for a full sack, or three for a half sack. Uh, pass defense, interceptions are six, 
Force fumbles are four, fumble recovery is two, and the rest is good there. So now let me just copy this, highlight it, control C to copy, put it down here, put it down there for the linebackers, put it down for the defensive backs. All their scoring is the same. Okay, my scoring's done. Custom scoring, nothing. Owners. Okay, this will be interesting. I can do this quickly. Let me go to the draft, and I'll show you what I'm going to do here to uh, to get this quickly into draft buddy. I'm going to highlight the whole draft so far through the eight rounds. All right, just uh, drag my mouse right there, hit Control C, open up Excel, start a new file. Okay, I guess you could create a, create a separate worksheet too and do that. But let me paste this in here and see how this goes. All right. Looks terrible. Brought in everything. It's all black. Let's do a quick um, format the cells. Okay, so let's get rid of this wrapping and merging. Okay, let's get the font into like a just a black and a border to not the border, the filling to nothing. Let's see what happens. That we can see a lot better. Format auto fit the columns and that looks a lot better okay I'm gonna get my owners in I'm just gonna grab the first 12 here there we go right there control C to copy go back to my copy of the compiler here's the owners thing put it right there I wanna paste his values there we go owners are filled in I've got the eighth pick click that right there alright good options Op default options are fine uh, action okay everything set up hit compile cheat sheets depending how long this takes I may uh, time this out of the uh, screencast because since I am recording the video at the same time it does cause Excel to run a little bit slower although this is working not bad okay this is real time for the compile and there are my updated cheat sheets updated in quotes of course because again these are based on projections from 2011 so I think back to preseason 2011 a lot of these guys have moved around but yet my point is I just want to track my draft we haven't got updated projections yet and won't until June and I don't even have the updated stats from last year but when we, the 2012 version is out then it'll have the updated stats and projections okay but my point is I want to uh, track this draft Okay, I've got my cheat sheets here, but I've already got uh, seven and a half rounds completed in the, in the mock draft. I want to catch up and see where I stand, uh, mostly so I can track, you know, the rosters for the teams. Here's going to be my right, my roster right here, and I can see, you know, if I want to take a tight end, which is what I'm thinking about right at this pick, you know, are the guys behind me already set at tight end or not? Are they likely to take one or not? So uh, that'll be a big decision here and that's why it's kind of motivated me to uh, to do this video. Okay, let's go back to my blank sheet. Here are all the picks. Okay, one problem though. The names in the compiler are not in this format, are they? So they are first name, last name, not last name, comma, first name, and then we got the team and the position in there too, which we don't need. So let me delete those comments and time of the pick. Don't need those. Here's what I'm going to do. I got to go and highlight this entire list. Okay, and we're going to split it up. We're going to do data, text to columns. First, I'm going to split it by the comma. Okay, finish. And now we got two. Now this one here. I'm going to split this by the space. Alright, so again we're going to go text to columns, uh, delimited, hit next, change the comma to space, just going to split that into three columns, uh, or four. Okay, it had a space at the beginning. Oh, I missed some here. Okay, I missed them because there was a space in here for something that came through on the copy. Uh, yeah, okay got some form boxes there because that's where I could have put comments in uh, on the uh, myfantasyleague.com site. Highly recommended if you're looking for a league manager. Let's do the rest of it. This was, we were doing the comma first. Finish. Go over here. 
highlight the rest of the list, text to columns, considering it's the second demonstration, but could have been done in one step. Finish that. Okay, now for the most part I've got the positions, I've got the names, what format do I need it over in the compiler, what I need to do is put these on the draft report. Okay, under position, player name, all the way down. So that is going to be simple enough by just doing this, using some formulas. I'm going to just grab the position right there. And in fact, just to make sure there's no blank spaces, I'm going to use a formula called trim. I'm going to trim it, and then I've got to combine the name into one first name, last name. So let's again go trim the first name. I'm going to add a space in between, and then we're going to trim the last name. Okay, there we go. Let's copy that. And let's page down all the way to the end. Control V, and there we go. There's going to be the draft order. Now let's get rid of these blank lines because those shouldn't be in there. Okay, I'm just going to mess up, mess up the order if we uh, leave them. So I'm just going to right click on those rows, delete, one more, everywhere where I didn't make a comment so far on my previous picks. Highlight the whole thing, scroll down there, okay, yep, all the way down to 8.04. Fourth pick in the eighth round, go back to the compiler here again, good thing to in the habit of pasting values, just uh, you know, make sure none of that formatting comes through and messes up in the uh, compiler. Okay, great. All right, there's our picks, and yeah, you can see I have the next pick. Some of these guys are not coming through. Let's find out why. Okay, Cam Newton was a rookie last year. Okay, so the way we mark our rookies in the compiler is we have the registered symbol which is simply enough to add by just doing um, doing a space, then a uh, bracket R, close bracket, and you can see Excel converted that, and then Cam Newton's Cam Newton came up. Chris Johnson, well, the two Chris Johnson in the NFL, defensive back, running back, so this is clearly the running back. Put him in there. DeMarco Murray was a rookie last year. See, I'm doing that. Uh, put a space in there. Uh, bracket, small r, bracket, it'll automatically change it, and there we go. Same with A.J. Green. What in fact I can do is I can click on Murray, highlight just the space in the cell, hit control C, okay, go down to Green, put it in there, and then he's good. Okay, this is screwing up because of the position. Okay, MFL had it down as uh, DE, uh, compiler only recognizes the DL Linebacker is the same, and then defensive back. Trent Richardson wasn't in the player universe in 2011 because he's a rookie this year, so we'll just leave him as is. We don't even know what team he's on. You know, he will still will flow through the rosters tab, so let's see what team got him. Uh, at CNF, go over to rosters, here he is, team six, and it still shows Trent Richardson right there. So if there's ever a player drafted that is not in the uh, not in the compiler for some reason or you can't find them, type in the name on the draft report tab, uh, put the right position in, and it will still flow through. Okay, as you can see with Trent Richardson right there. So I still see him on his team. He's still going to add a running back on the summary tab uh, over here for CNFC. He has three running backs, which matches the rosters. Okay, it doesn't matter. He just won't have any points, and it won't know what, what NFL team he's on. Uh, and so if I look at the detail here, it says NA. Uh, does no bye week and no fantasy points, of course. Okay, so uh, let's further down the draft uh, report tab. I would have to fix the rest of these players. Okay, well, let's like look at my roster and the other rosters uh, around me. Uh, I'm right here. Okay, so I was curious to put a tight end. There are going to be definitely teams on this end who are need a tight end. Only two, actually, I'm one of the last to take a tight end. That may be my target, or another linebacker, knowing the defensive players are going uh, pretty quickly here. That's my demonstration on the compiler. You see I got it set up fairly quickly, uh, even for a draft that was underway through seven and a half rounds. Check it out at draftbuddy.com and fftoday.com.